Hey, hey, what is up, YouTube? Andrew Rooney here. We are back with another PayPal request. This is from my man, Ed Amantia. Hey, Andrew, thanks for doing my Misty Mountain Hot Pick. Yeah, that was great. Next up is this Zeppelin track that is not a typical Bonham basher, but he puts a stamp all over it. It's actually a love song. Thank you. From their second album recorded in 1969. It's been a wedding song for many, including yours truly. Wow. Simple but great song that just wouldn't be the same without Bonzo. Here is the link to the official studio version. Simple but great song that wouldn't be the same without Bonzo. That's the thing, isn't it? It's when you put that Bonham signature drum part in there that can be what makes things really special. And I'm just so glad that this is a special song for you, Ed. So we're going to get straight into it. I am going to use the official Dromeo version to follow along with the drum chart. Hopefully that's all right. I checked it is actually the same link that you sent, Ed, but just Dromeo have used it um, as a transcription uh, play along. And guys, you guys can access all of these resources. Just follow my Dromeo link. 30 day free trial and you get access to these kind of resources. It is truly spectacular. Anyway, let's check out the song. It's a completely new one for me from Led Zeppelin. Thank you. 1969. Let's go. Did you hear the level of grease and swing on the intro, Phil? So although we've got notated, you can't notate feel, right? We've got the notes notated here. But I mean, I would have read that as straight, but he's swinging the 16th. Listen to the swing, the degree of swing on this intro, Phil. That's where it's at. still be loving you when mountains crumble to the sea you ready for the heat still be you and me Beautifully captured little button there. It's incredible how uh, Robert Plant, he can make his voice sound like a guitar. I mean, there were parts there where his voice, I thought it was an overdrive guitar coming in. It was his vocals. This band, man, they are just tight. They are so in sync with each other. It's incredible. So today my world, it smiles Your hand in mine, we walk the miles Thanks to you, it will be done For you to me, I'm the only one Happiness 
finishing off with no drums. If Interesting. The sun refused to shine. I would still be loving you. Mountains crumble to the sea. There will still be you and me. Him back in. It's about to stop it. I don't know if you guys caught my Alice in Chains Rain When I Die drum cover, but <laughs> that song does the same thing. It fades out and then fades back in and then sort of stops abruptly. I'd be surprised if that wasn't taken from the song because the way that it plays out in that song is very very similar um boy oh man um as always just so many things so many things to highlight i mean i I, i'm always in a dilemma whether to just constantly stop things and keep talking um or let the thing play out maybe i need a pad and let it play out and make notes because there's just so many things um who was it what did shit baker say the jazz trumpeter shit baker one of my favorite jazz artists of all time it takes a pretty good drummer to be better than no drummer at all now that is not a cryptic uh tricky smart cynical quote (laughs) it's a very very good quote um and it makes a lot of sense when you've been playing a long time you realize that A great drummer can make an average band sound great and a poor drummer can make a great band sound really bad, worse than average. The drummer can really, really make or break things. Again, Steve Lukather, uh, one of my favorite groups of all time, Toto. I recall Steve Lukather talking about how because he did and still does so many sessions that you know the the track is screwed if you don't have a good drum track you're done you got nothing you're building a house on quicksand uh one more anecdote before (laughs) before i really get to the meat of this uh video jeff piccaro from toto my favorite drummer of all time his approach in the studio often was He's almost like, like a producer, you know. He would he would command the session and uh, think overall with a producer's brain. And I remember a story about him where there was the song, and they brought in Jeff because you know they wanted his input and they wanted his magic on the track. And Jeff's input was the song doesn't need drums. This is perfect as it is. And they went with that. I don't even remember what track it was. It's just a just a story, just to highlight the humility uh, required to be a great drummer. Why do I bring all this up? There are obviously long stretches in the song where there's no drums. A long stretch at the end. I mean, Bonham's got heaps of chops, heaps of facility, heaps of feel. Why didn't he play out at the end? I don't know. 
I don't know why he didn't play out at the end, but it's a choice. It's a choice to play. It's a choice to not play. Um, and where you're going to season, add in a little bit of seasoning on the track, and when you're going to pull back and go, no, nah, that's good just as it is right there. That's getting the point across right there. That's a really tender part of the song. I don't want to bash drums over that, but let's just play it out with uh, vocals and organ or uh, that nice guitar that came in. So, <laughs> what am I getting at here? I don't even know what I'm getting at here. Musicianship. Musician versus drummer. Bonham is a musician. People often say, oh, Bonham, he's a basher. Bonham, yeah, man, um, he's got the crazy right foot and all these chops and all this. Oh, have you seen the Moby Dick solo? Yeah, Moby Dick solo is fantastic. But you can break down all the chops you want. It's musical decisions that make the man here. I mean, what note could you even change <laughs> in, the, in the drum part? relatively quite a lot of drum fills and the note placement all that beautiful swing pickups and fills back into when the drums came in and the groove kicked in i mean you cannot get any better ed as you said his what, what did you say <laughs> let's go back to what you actually said i don't want to misquote too many people on this video simple but great song that just wouldn't be the same without bonzo you put it better than i've been rambling on for the last four or five minutes perfectly said Edamantia. you know it's just it's just perfect isn't it the feel the degree of swing that he puts into his 16th notes the amount of notes he plays when to rev it up, you know, and he did do his um, classic snare, high time, floor time, kick, brr bomb. He did bust out that lick, but it was at the right time. He didn't blow everything, you know, right off the top. He, you know, it's crafted a song. I talked to Jim Riley about this on the recent interview that was on the channel. Check it out if you haven't. You know, we get into this kind of stuff. Structuring a song, looking at it, how does it... How does the song structure work? What's the story we're trying to tell? Are we trying to build into this? You know, so many songs these days are just like, and chorus, and then you're just away, and then two minutes later the song's ended and you're done, and then Spotify's going to recommend the next song. Not here, not here. We've got a story. We've got a story, right? We've got an arc to the story. We've got an arc uh, in the music. We got build up. We're starting off with this gentle guitar, and then we come in with the drum fill. The drum fill is telling me a story. It's telling me that we're feeling the notes swung. Why are we feeling the notes swung? Maybe there's a little bit of sway going on, a little bit of uh, feel sensitivity going on in the slow tempo, and we're really adding in a little bit of feel into this. Bonham's all about the feel. It's Bonham is all about the feel. Bonham chops, yeah, that's a thing, but it's Bonham feel and musicality and decisions. That was a banger. Ed Amantia, thank you so much for your uh, support on the channel and this awesome pack. Always good to get into more Bonham, more Led Zepp, and a song that I just have not heard yet, so I'm just so happy to get to it. And you know what, I'll give a shout out to Finesse Muse and Suzanne Lash as well. Two huge Led Zepp fans that I'm hoping you guys dig this one as well. And guys, remember, I do have a Led Zepp playlist. It's even got a couple of my covers, a couple of my attempts to uh, cover the great man, John Bonham. So go get amongst that as well. Take care. Until next time. Hey, what is up, Woodchoppers? Please do remember original video links, as always, in the description of each video. Please do go along, check it out, and support the artist. If you enjoy my channel, please do consider hitting that subscribe button, like button, and leaving a comment down below with what you thought of this video and what you would like me to check out in the future. If you would like to support my channel further, I do have a Patreon. It's just $5 a month and you will get access to the blocked videos. If you have a reaction request that you definitely want to get on the channel, the only way I can guarantee that at this point is via the PayPal link. 
and it supports the channel. So thanks in advance. And remember you, as a subscriber of my channel, you get access to a full and free 30 day trial over at Dromeo. Learn from the world's best drummers and drum teachers. And they've got over 6,000 songs in the database, downloadable PDFs for those transcriptions, or you can play along, watch in the player, slow down loop sections. It is truly awesome. Go check it out. 30 days free on me. Guys, until next time, keep chopping wood. Take it easy. Ciao.